When Uganda became independent in 1962, the government was comprised of a coalition between Prime Minister Milton Obote's UPC, Uganda People's Congress, and KY, Kabaka Yeka, who were mostly Kabaka and Buganda traditionalists. Members of the KY from the National Assembly were appointed to four cabinet positions and Buganda would be a federal state. The Kabaka was given the ceremonial post of president when Uganda became a republic in 1963. The coalition between UPC and KY was short-lived because of the issue of lost counties. The Bunyoro wanted back the territories that had been given during colonial times. In November 1964, Obote held a referendum against the wishes of Kabaka Mutesa and the KY party. Residents of the territories were given the choice to remain in Buganda, returning to Bunyoro, or coming under the administration of the central government as a separate district. They voted overwhelmingly to return to Bunyoro. KY was unhappy with the results of the referendum and withdrew from the coalition with UPC. Kabaka Mutesa tried to block the transfer of counties but suffered a setback because some members of KY joined UPC. In early 1964, the Uganda army revolted against the government and demanded better pay, terms of service, and more control of the military by African officers. The government agreed to the demands. Interestingly, one of the officers who benefited from this revolt was Idi Amin, one of the first African officers. The split within Obote's party weakened his position. After the party's 1964 conference, John Kakonge, a close confidant of Obote, lost his position as Secretary General. The army's second in command, Idi Amin, was accused of theft and corruption. Obote and two of his cabinet ministers were charged with corruption relating to money obtained through trade in ivory and gold with Zaire's government. Parliament called for an investigation into the allegations and suspension of Amin. Obote reacted by arresting Grace Ibingira and four cabinet ministers and they were detained without trial. He also announced that the constitution would be temporarily suspended. The Kabaka was accused of seeking foreign assistance and removed from his position as president, and Amin was promoted to commander. Obote convened the National Assembly with a new constitution in which Buganda lost its federal status and special privileges. The new constitution created an executive president and Obote assumed the post. As executive president, Obote could legislate without parliament consent in certain conditions, but it didn't need to since his party had 83 seats while the DP had only six. The Buganda rejected the new constitution, but Obonte responded by declaring a state of emergency and ordered the army to attack the Kabaka palace. Although Kabaka Mutesa escaped, the kingdom was defeated and divided into four districts. In 1969, Obote became, began moving towards socialism to win support of the masses. He published the Common Man's Charter, which was similar to the Arusha Declaration in Tanzania. The Charter promised for more social security, new agricultural cooperatives, and nationalization. An assassination attempt on Obonte encouraged him to go after his enemies under the facade 
of the state of emergency. He banned all other political parties except UPC. He introduced a new electoral system. Every citizen was also required to participate in national service upon graduation from primary school unless they were proceeding to secondary school. In Oboto's nationalization plan, the state would assume control of all import and export trade and would have a majority stake in banks, insurance companies and the Kilembe copper mines. While Obote was attending the Commonwealth Conference in Singapore in January 1971, Idi Amin led a military coup and took over the government.